materials we're going to be testing out are the 12 layers of medium weight denim and those are going to be joined together with the Loctite Premium Pro Lime three times strong uh, construction adhesive and we're going to be trying to equivalate that to the poly resin that we've been using in prior testing and see if it um, provides the same layer of protection and then in front of that we're going to be using the PEI 5 plate and that was uh, joined with a liquid nails construction adhesive uh, to the hot dip galvanized flashing and so all these materials required at Lowe's uh, for underneath uh, 20 bucks and then the uh, heavyweight or the medium weight denim was uh, purchased at Walmart Let's go check them out. A lot of destruction to the tile, that's for sure. Alright, so we're now we're going to check out the first plate, which is the 13 layers of denim with Loctite. And we did not have a pass through that. You can see the demolition of the tile. Right. And then if you look on the back, no bulge, no pass through. With 11 layers of denim with liquid nails, hit the upper left hand corner, right on the corner, right on the edge. And then I cannot tell if that ended up passing through. Doesn't look like it. No. So, if you look at that, we don't have it pass. This is an analysis of the 13 layer denim plate that was adhered together with Loctite construction adhesive, which is supposedly three times the strength of ordinary construction adhesive. You can see the impacts of the first round and the second round. As we open it up, the ceramic tile, which is a PEI 5 ceramic tile, you can see that most of it, you know, distributed the impact of the first and second round on there and you can see fragments of the actual round itself that were caught in the construction adhesive that adhered the ceramic tile to the hot dip galvanized sheet metal which is basically roof flashing and it showed that it basically kind of caught a lot of the fragments most of the second shot exited out of the side of the plate which ripped through the actual 100 mile an hour tape that bonded all the plate together. Looking at the sheet metal itself on the back side of it you can actually see that some deformation was caused you know after it impacted the tile and the first round showed minimal deformation and the second round showed approximately about a half an inch of deformation. Can I get a good look at that? About a half inch of deformation on that sheet metal. Now, when you move on to the actual denim layer plate itself, this on the first round, which impacted approximately right here, there's almost little to no permanent deformation in the plate itself. And on the second round, you can see approximately about, I don't know, maybe one sixteenth of an inch of permanent deformation in there. So this actually proved to be very substantial in its ability to uh, minimize the deformation on the back side of this and you can actually see that on the on the back side of the plate there's 
no signs of the denim ripping or anything like that. So this is definitely a good test. And I think that moving forward with this, this construction adhesive itself is more readily available than the um, fiberglass resin that we've been using previously. And it probably should be used or, you know, in lieu of the fiberglass resin adhesive, you know, use this Loctite brand 3X construction adhesive to join together the plates because it is easier to work with. And, you know, it doesn't dry in 10 minutes. So you have a longer amount of time to actually construct the plate itself. This is the analysis of the 11 layer denim plate that was adhered together with liquid nails construction adhesive. And it has also a PEI 5 ceramic tile in front. The first round impact dead center. And you can see the whole entrance hole right here. And the second round impacted high into the left. And that most of that round exited out to the left side of the actual plate itself. Peeling back the first layer, you can see the ceramic tile itself and a lot of the energy that was distributed on the ceramic tile. And a lot of the bullet fragments you can see were caught inside of the construction adhesive layer that joined the ceramic tile to the hot dip galvanized sheet metal itself. So um, the construction adhesive in between these two layers showed that it was able to capture a lot of the spall that um, was produced from the impact of the round. You can see on this sheet metal the minimal deformation on the front side uh, from the first round and the second round. You can see a larger amount of uh, deformation which is approximately about a half inch to a full inch um, in deformation there and most of that round exited out the side. We flip this over you can see the permanent deformation on the sheet metal itself on those first and second rounds that impacted it. And right here is the uh, area where the first round impacted. And you can see very little deformation on the actual denim plate that was adhered together with the um, liquid nails construction adhesive. And the second round experienced a lot more deformation on the front side, uh, approximately about a half an inch of permanent deformation. When you flip this plate over, you can see that there is almost no deformation on the back side of this, permanent deformation on the back side of this plate um, from the first round, but the second round actually caused the den to tear on the back side due to its deformation. And uh, that shows a little bit of signs of concern. Uh, but